Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Raleigh, North Carolina. My name is James Moore. I'm a meteorologist here uh, with your routine Monday weekly weather briefing that incorporates uh, the weather forecast for all of Central North Carolina. Uh, for anybody that's tuning in late, I highly recommend you, via our YouTube channel. I highly recommend uh, visiting weather.gov forward slash Raleigh for the latest weather information. Uh, here in North Carolina, we all know weather can change on a dime, so that will have the latest information, uh, whether you're tuning in this Monday or uh, later on this week. And we'll be with you again on Thursday for the Thursday briefing to give you a quick update right before we hit the weekend. So let's go forward and see what's going on today across Central North Carolina. A lot going on in the satellite picture this morning. We have a broad upper low that's been just meandering east. It is now starting to cross the Appalachian Mountains right near the Mason-Dixon line. It should continue to dip south and east uh, going into portions of the um, um, Chesapeake Bay before sliding further off the east coast uh, later on tonight into tomorrow morning. And this broad area of low pressure continues to, to sling a uh, little weather systems toward us and, and these are pretty much being just impactful in the mountains some of the mountain areas are seeing actually some snowfall this morning um, especially in portions of blacksburg's forecast area and G uh, greenville spartansburg forecast area um, but we're seeing quite a few waves coming across and that's giving us some mid to upper level clouds here in central north carolina and maybe a sprinkle or two especially across the northern portions of our area um, but those should be far and few between as we go on throughout today and tonight um, we'll finally get rid of that area of low pressure tonight as it slides to the north and east off the coast. And uh, we should see a uh, quieter weather pattern beginning to take shape as we progress through the work week. We are going to have some impulses. You can see one here in the midweek. We'll also have another one late week that's going to come across. Um, but for the most part, those should be relatively dry with little in the way of precipitation. And we'll have high pressure taking control. Um, especially as we progress into Thursday, maybe a quick wave coming through on Friday, uh, but certainly beginning next weekend, we should have a nice high pressure in control, um, keeping the weather quiet and uh, precipitation amounts pretty far down. In terms of thunderstorm activity, we're really not expecting too much, especially in the next three days, but really for the next seven to 10 days. Uh, we're really getting out of the uh, typical thunderstorm uh, time of year. While it's not impossible to have a rumble of thunder or even some severe weather events during the winter time, it's just not as favored because you don't have that really good warm air mass in place. But we'll be looking at the long-term prospects. And if we ever get some good onshore flow, those thunderstorms, including some severe storms, uh, could be possible as we progress even into the winter season um, or here in the southeastern United States. So looking at the precipitation forecast through the next seven days, we're not expecting much other than a few spittily spats, we like to call it, across uh, central North Carolina today. Nothing Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, with maybe some chances uh, creeping in as we progress into late Saturday, early Sunday, um, as we get a little bit more in the way of southerly flow overhead, a little bit more moisture in place, and we could see a cold front slide through early next week. That's going to give us our next chance of some pretty appreciable rainfall. In terms of drought, we're continuing to see some improvement across the area. Here's a look at the November 19th drought outlook from the U.S. Drought Monitor. And we're really not, um, we're really not, uh, we're really seeing some steps of improvement, especially across the southwestern uh, portions of our forecast area, the foothills of the Appalachians. Uh, we do have a little bit of abnormally dry conditions persisting across the triangle, pushing areas north. But with a pretty good amount of rainfall we saw, especially across the northwest, we should see at least this staying this week, if not maybe slight improvement. So uh, seeing some good things in terms of drought, nothing too, uh, um, too important going on there, but we'll be monitoring it closely as we progress into the winter and eventually the spring season coming up. So the tropical weather outlook, uh, the last one of these was issued at 7 p.m. on Saturday, November 30th. Uh, for now, we're going to call the Atlantic tropical season closed for the year. While it's not unheard of to see a tropical system or two crop up even into January, February time frame, um, we're really not going to be uh, focused too much on this until the tropical season spins up again next year, right around that late May, early June time frame. Of course, if there's one of those uh, surprise storms, the National Hurricane Center will be ready to spring into action and we'll be covering it here for you for Central North Carolina type impacts. 
We also want to talk about our winter safety campaign. So in the meteorological world, uh, the start of the month of December is actually the start of meteorological winter. So anytime we start a new season meteorologically, we like to go over some of the um, safety tips and, and some of the safety things. And especially, uh, we haven't thought about this really since last February or March. So making sure um, you have plans in place to react to winter storms. You understand the winter storm type products that we issue. Um, and some of the hazards like black ice and, and snowfall and, of course, uh, wind chill, which is going to become more and more of a concern as we get these colder air masses filtering overhead. And this is pretty timely because today is the third day of Winter Weather Preparedness Week here in Central North Carolina. So um, tune in as we cover some safety topics on our social media accounts uh, throughout the week. And also some of our partners do the same as we prepare for the upcoming winter season. A quick summary, uh, we're expecting blustery and cool conditions to persist early in the week. High pressure takes control mid to late week and continues overhead. Precipitations increase by late next weekend. And uh, um, that's really going to be the next chance of some significant rainfall really in that Friday through or actually more of the Sunday to Monday time frame early next week. Um, drought improvement continues across the area. And uh, of course, once again, this is North Carolina Winter uh, Weather Preparedness Week. So visit our website for more information on that. Tune into our social media accounts, and uh, we'd be happy to discuss some of the upcoming winter season with you as we progress uh, into that era.